Evening, everybody. Um, tonight, I'm going to make a bathrobe. It's going to be a summer bathrobe. Um, I'm not using flannel. I'm using like a really nice cotton. Um, the pattern number is 6233. It's the new look. And I'm doing this one. And I'm going to do it in medium. I probably could get away with small, but I'd rather have a bigger bathrobe than a tighter bathrobe. So we're going to make a medium. So what you're going to need is um, pieces 12 through 18 on this pattern. You're going to need some interfacing, um, your thread, your sewing machine. There's a little basting in this one also. Um, and I think that's it. So we're going to start with stay stitch. And we have to stay stitch our front and our back. So let me get those pieces. I'm all cut out already and um, we'll get started. Okay, when you stay stitch, um, just make your stitch a little bit longer or looser. And this is the material I got. It's really pretty. It's like ivory with um, like white little flowers on it. Okay, so just stay stitch your whole neckline and do that to your front pieces and your back piece, and I'll be right back. Okay, and on your front piece, you're going to stay stitch all along down here till you get to your first notch. Now we're going to start the pockets. Um, keep your patterns um, available because we're going to be making some marks. So we have to go over to the ironing board first. Other trick is I put a safety pin in knowing that it's going right this way not the pockets not going this way it's going this way okay so go to the sewing machine or the iron and we're gonna press under a quarter inch I iron some of my fabric here it kind of messed up so do your two pieces and I gotta get a little I gotta get a little ruler hold on okay. and I measured the pattern and it is um, two inches that we have to fold down. So on the right side, here's your, on the right side, you're gonna fold down two inches. Let me get my pin down a little bit further. There, okay. So measure two inches and press that. Okay, now what you're gonna do is do a 5 8 seam allowance all the way down. I just pin mine just so it doesn't move. Just 
like that. So you're going to sew five eighths all the way around. And then when that's done, we're going to trim up here and then we'll turn it. So let me get my other pocket done. And then the seam that we just did the quarter, that's where we're going to sew um, after we get it turned. So it'll have a nice, this is essentially like the facing. And don't forget to switch your um, stitch back to your normal stitching um, after you state stitch. Okay, so coming back here. Okay, we got down here, that's all five eighths. That is just gonna give you a guideline where you're gonna press um, for your pocket. But what you're gonna do, okay, let me see if I can show you. About right in here and up, you're gonna trim. And I'll show you how they're doing it on the instructions. Okay, so here's your seam. So you're just going to trim like a quarter inch on each corner here. Or each little section right here. So you have it like this, okay? Then you're gonna turn this and poke out your corners. Get this down. So poke out your corners. And then we're going to go back to the iron. And we're going to press all this, the whole um, pocket, at least your sides. So you're sure to get this nice and straight. And then we're gonna sew real close to this line. So let me get the other one clipped and turned and I'll return. See, that's gonna give you a really nice point. So go back to the ironing board. <clears throat> Okay, and where this fold is, press as close as you can get to that fold and press this down. I'll just do my sides right now. So just find your seam or your, uh, your stitch. It's kind of hard to see when I'm got ivory thread and ivory material. But just press that down quickly because we're going to go back to the sewing machine and we're going to sew across our pocket. But I just want these down where they're going to be. So that would be like your top of your pocket. I have to kind of feel for my my threads. All right. As close as you can get it. Okay, 
Okay, head back to the sewing machine and sew as close as you can. Oops, I'm sorry. Sew as close as you can to this folded edge. Okay? Okay, once you have that done, we've already done some of the ironing part. So what you're gonna do is just be sure, I gotta get my light over here. Okay. Be sure you kind of fold right on that seam that we sewed around. Check it to be sure you don't have any of this hanging out. Okay, do that to the next one. Okay, place your pockets on each other and be sure you're even. That looks pretty good. Okay, get your front pieces. And we're going to mark where these need to go. Okay. Get your one of your front pieces. That's my iron. I just put water in it. And you're going to have to turn this piece over. Okay. And match this up to your notches. And I'm going to pin it because I'm going to move it up a little bit more. Okay, and that way it'll stay where I need it to stay. This is where your pocket's gonna go, and right here. So you just look, if you're making, I'm making a medium. So I'm just gonna make a mark there. Let's see if it went through. Yep. Okay, then come over here and make the mark here. Then get your other piece and do the same thing that you're going to turn the piece around. Grab one of your pockets and right at those dots, you're going to start pinning. And get it straight. Then pin this. Okay, and 
just keep pinning it down in a few spots. your corner and pin at your other corner. Okay, so do this with your next piece and I'll be back. Once you have it all pinned, they want you to sew as close to this edge as you can. I have always done coming up here about a half inch and then I turn and that way this doesn't um you know rip when you start putting your hands in your pocket a lot you'll see where it starts to pull away so if you start here about a half inch and then start sewing and coming up and doing the same thing over here um, it will help it from, you know, not pulling away from the material. Okay, let me get these sewn up. Okay, now we're going to make the carrier for your tie. It's essentially like making bias tape. They have us doing this on the wrong side and pressing and... But I'm going to do it. Okay, here's our wrong side. Press this in half. And that's going to give you your line. Then fold it almost to the line and press it. And then almost to the line on your next section. And then you're gonna fold this in half then you're gonna go to your sewing machine okay so we just have a fold and a fold and a fold so you're gonna go to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch here all the way down and then all the way down on this side. So both sides. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, once you have your carrier done, fold it in half and cut it. So now you have the two carriers for your tie. Okay, above where your pockets were, there's a mark or a dot. Okay, just put this down and mark your fabric. Take one of your carriers Bend it in half, and wherever your dot is, you're going to put it down and baste across. So it'll be like that. Okay, let me get this done. Okay, so fold this in half. And you want your raw edges 
let me see if I can get this back more there. You want your raw edges to meet. So just put that right in the middle. And then just base this on. And this is just going to hold it in place when we do our side seams. It's kind of hard to go through both of them, but kind of just try. Just going to go back through and just pick it up one more time right there. Okay. I'll keep some so I can pull it out. Okay, do your other side. Okay, be sure that they're pointing inwards. Now get your back in your front. And we're going to sew the, sho the shoulder seams together. So get your back. And you can do this right sides together. I don't know how my fabric got so wrinkly. It's ironed a little. Okay. So get your front pieces. And match up your notches. Okay, and pin. And then you're going to sew five eighths seam. So let me get my other one pinned. Okay, get number 17. These are your sleeves. Okay, get one of your sleeves. We're going to be marking again. And you're going to mark these whole, these little dots. There's one, two, three, four five of them. So get your marking pen, both of your sleeves, and mark these. I'll show you up close. You got medium, one, two, three, and medium. So mark that on both sleeves. Okay, after you have your sleeves marked with your little dots, you're going to need your front and back pieces of your pattern. So this is the front.
and we're going to lay this down. Now you've already made your seam, so just match up your notch. Okay. Then you will see dots one, two, your seam is the third. Then get your back piece. Okay, lay this the way it's supposed to be. Okay. And match up your notches. And you will see M here, a little dot. And then a little dot here. So that's where your sleeve placement's going to be. Let me find the sleeve. Okay, so you're going to take your sleeve right sides together. Okay, the middle dot of your sleeve is your seam. So pin that. Okay, come down to your next dot and pin it. Now, you're going to have to pull this material to get it even. So, you're going to have to pin it. Okay. Then come, I have a notch right here. Just fit it in there. Get this all even. Okay, then you have a, a dot here. So you're just matching up your dots. getting this as flat as possible. There's my notch. I'm going to have to play around with it a little to get it so you don't have a little crease or bump. Okay. Then go to your other side, over here. Let me get this back further so you can see. <clears throat> okay, here's your dot. Match it to this dot. around some. Match your notch right here. Get this even. Okay, and bring this little piece around. And here's your last dot, and match that dot up. Just a little. Okay, 
then go back and get this as flat as you can get it. Be sure your edges are even. And when you're sewing it, you might have to pull it a little to get it to not have a little crease in it. That's why I'm pinning a lot. So then I can lock it in. Okay. Just keep looking. Be sure everything is even. And you have to do that with both sleeves. So let me get the other one done. Okay, everybody, I'm back. It's the next day. I just got really tired last night. Um, so uh, we ended up at the arm and shoulder, underarm seam and everything. So we'll continue doing that. So where we left off, we were pinning our, where all our dots are. So I'm just going to go through, I know I didn't move anything last night. Um, we're going to sew these on and then we'll go to the next step. Let me come over here. All right, so we're gonna do a five eighths seam allowance here. And I'll get that sewn. And then we'll go on to the next step. I just wanna open up this seam right here. All right, so let me get this sewn up and I will be right back. Okay, once you have that done, just check to be sure that you don't have any um, little creases or anything. All right, that looks good. So the next thing you're going to do is from your front to back, you're going to stitch the entire armhole seam matching armholes. So we're going to sew from your arm, your armhole matching your dots and sewing all the way down and we're going to do that on both sides be sure that your carrier is pushed in you don't want to have that on the out outside so what i do first is i just match my notch where my carrier is and then pin it a little below it and then I'll start pinning. And just match your armholes and just keep pinning and sewing at a five eighths and I'll be right back. And right before you get to your carrier even though it's basted. 
just go in underneath the two pieces of fabric. Be sure this is straight. I'm going to back stitch over mine and then continue. Just sometimes these get a lot of pull on them. Okay, and continue sewing. Okay, when you have this one done, your first one, go back to like three inches back, here's your notch, and then come another like three inches. And do like a three eighths stitch just along that arm hole. So that's reinforced. So here I am, and we're going to trim this up a little. Okay, do your next side, and I'll be back. Lady, so once you get this done, just inspect your whole side. You can take out your um, basting thread from your carriers. Because it's so much easier to fix the problem before you have to, if it's not right. It's easier to do it now than once you get it done and say, I don't like that. Or So just, you know, take your time. You've spent the money on the fabric and you want it the best you can get it. I was actually going to make this um, in that daisy um, material that I showed you, but laying it out, I didn't have enough. I didn't bring my glasses with me to the fabric store, and I thought it said three yards, and it was three and a half. So, thank God I had this. I was going to make a um, bathrobe out of this anyways. So it all worked out. So tonight I'll just use the daisy material for sure. Okay, now we're going to hem the sleeves. Now, if you're making this for yourself to save you time, I know this is going to be a little big on me, but I don't care. It's easier to trim your material now because you're not going to have a really big cuff on here. Um, yeah, it's like a quarter of an inch. So, see, so you can't even see my hands. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to take off like two inches my wrist is right here so I'll probably take off a couple inches and then once you do this I'm gonna have a bigger like cuff but it's just easier now to figure it out but <clears throat> and then we're gonna do the bands after but yeah I like that that's nice okay so just try it on you know, if your sleeves are like mine, then, you know, cut them down now. It's easier to deal with it. Okay. So, you know, just iron. And be sure that they're even. Okay. 
and then just get a ruler and your marking pen. I had a feeling these were going to be, the medium was going to be a little bit too long sleeve-wise, but. Okay, so get a ruler and a marking pen. <clears throat> are under my things I made yesterday. Okay. And just measure, you know, whatever you need. I need two inches off. And do that on both sleeves. Okay, let me get this done and I'll be right back. Okay, then put it back on. So you know you're gonna have your fourth here and then you're gonna turn it. So I'm gonna see what, I'm gonna turn this. Let me do it at the, let me do it here at the front. All right, let me get my little ruler and a pen. Okay, so you know you're gonna turn over a quarter. I'm gonna turn over an inch. I just wanna see where I am. Okay, that's an inch. In it, put it back on. Let's see, I might do an inch and a half. Okay, I'm gonna do an inch and a half on mine. So we got that situated. What we're gonna do. Um, you can go in before you do all this and open up your seams. And if you have your pinking shears, um, you know, you can trim your seam allowance. Like down your arm and down your side, which I'm going to do. So I'll be right back. I skip over my carrier because I want all that fabric and thread holding it. Okay, let me get the other side done. Okay, so turn down a quarter all the way around. And then you're gonna turn up whatever you need for your length. I cut two inches off and I'm going to make a one and a half inch band. So if you try yours on, it's easier to get it hemmed now than it is later. Okay, so let me get my two arm hole, or sleeves done. Jeez, I need more coffee today. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after you have it all pinned, you want to sew close to this edge right here. Okay, let me get mine done and I'll be back. Remember to start at your back seam here so nobody sees the back stitching. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so when you're done with that, just grab your shoulder seam. Get this back a little. 
and then your arm, your sleeve. Be sure you got the right length. And I do on both. Okay, now we are going to do the band. Okay, and the band is number 15. And we have to cut an interfacing for this. Okay. Uh, I, just, I think we have to let's see. Apply interfacing to band sections, then stitch center. Okay. So. On each piece, we have to put interfacing. And once we get the interfacing done, we will sew these together. So let me cut out my interfacing and get this on. Okay, I got that cut up. Don't throw away your interfacing some of them might be little pieces, you know, like this, that. They're really great when you're doing buttonholes. If you put this on the fabric and then make your buttonhole, your buttonhole comes out a lot better. So I just have a little box of my scrap uh, interfacing. And when I have to do a buttonhole or, you know, something, then... I have this <laughs> and the interfacing I use is um, a lightweight because this is a cotton I think it's I think it's SP 101 no SF as in Frank 101 so this is the one I use Okay, let's get these applied to our band. And I will be right back. Alrighty, with a 5 8 inch seam, you're going to sew your center piece together. Just pin it so it doesn't move. And then on the unnotched side, you're going to turn down a half inch and press all the way down. I had to run into the kitchen for a minute. My sewing so much, my nails, they start to break right down in here so i i put glue um gorilla glue and at least it keeps it from ripping off and then once it grows out a little you know i can cut it but okay so that's a, a sewing trick for you because it hurts when it gets way down so all right, let's get my pedal here. It's moving on this carpet. Okay. Put this back on. Okay, so five eighths. Open that seam up. When you get to the iron, open it up. Okay, so let me see. My notches are on this side. 
So the other side, get your ruler and you're gonna just start pressing down a half inch and measure it while you're doing it. All right, so let me get my little ruler here. These are really handy if you can get them. Okay, half inch. All right, so let me do this a notch size side. Open up this before I forget. And then I think there's um, some markings we have to do. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, I got that done. So we're going to have to do a little bit of marking. So get your pattern out. And the first thing they want you to do is where you stay stitched on your neck to make a couple clips. So don't go into your fabric. Your, you know, don't go over your stitch. So I'm just gonna make just a couple little notches. notches here. I'm just going to make a couple so that this will turn where it needs to be turned. Alright, and then I'm going to do one down here. Okay, so just like right in here where, you know, your neck is going to bend. Oh, and I was going to um, suggest to anybody, um, I know so many people have scraps, like you, you don't want to see my scrap pile. I'll show it to you. <laughs> that whole chair and box is full of scraps. <coughs> what I do... I have a friend up in um, center, uh, Central Florida, and she works with special ed kids. And I send her all my scraps because they just love, you know, putting different little things together. If it's gluing them, you know, teaching them to sew, um, you know, just little crafts. So if you have a school um, with special ed kids in it, um, call them. They they might be happy to, you know, receive them. I send her a box like every two weeks of just my scrap. And the kids love it. So, I mean, that's just a suggestion. I know um, my friend, she works at Hobby Lobby. And a lot of ladies come and say, Oh my God, I got so many scraps. I don't know what to do with them. And... You know, they try to give them to the church and Goodwill and, you know, places like that. And they don't really want it. Um, you know, the churches want yards, not little pieces. Um, so, but if you do have a school for special need kids, you know, maybe that's an idea. I'm just throwing that out to you all. Um, you know, help others. Okay, so back to this. We're almost done. Now, your band that we just did, it's going to extend five-eighths lower than your hem. So, don't get worried that, you know, you did something wrong. Okay, so we did that. So, now we're going to match our centers, back notches, and lower small dots and placing inner small dots at shoulder seams. The band will extend five eighths below lower edge of rope, robe. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Okay. And get my piece, get my pen. 
so much stuff on my table. Okay, so here's medium, and this is my stitch. So I'm coming up here. Do it this way. Okay, there's my notch. So mark it, there's one here, <coughs> excuse me, two on the end. Okay, then come on the other side. There's two dots. There's my notch, and there's this one. Okay. Now let me look on the front here, just to be sure that we have right on the bottom of your front pieces. Here is a notch. So let me get this. the dot. Other side of the front basting tape or basting thread. Gonna take our band and right sides together. We're gonna pin this on. Okay. Get this down a little. So just follow your notches and right sides together. That would have been terrible. Okay. There's my notches. Okay, start pinning from your notches all the way down on both sides. Get your notches first. And then just work your way down. And I will be back when I have mine all finished. Okay, this little dot after your center, that is going to be your shoulder seam where that dot is, just so you have reference to that. So open up your seam, and that is where that dot goes and the same on the other side okay once you have it pinned you're gonna sew a 5 8 seam all around now you're gonna have to play with when pinning if you're having a problem 
you're going to have to play around with right around your arm a little, not too bad, but down here, I don't know, I guess you call it the, the flap. You got to get it right even or you're going to end up with like this much material um, that you don't know where it's going to go. So you just have to play around with it. Be sure this is all even. I mean even to make this work. Okay. Okay, so let's start sewing. This is five eighths, and when I get done, um, we will do the next step. And see, I do have some of the robe hanging over, so that's what you're supposed to have, okay? Remember, when you're sewing, be sure, you know, feel on your back to be sure this is flat. Okay, once you have that done, just inspect to be sure that you didn't catch anything that, you know, you have no little creases. Okay, we're good here. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to press this seam. You probably can open up your seam. It might be easier. Open up your seam, get that flat. Then come back and press this really flat. And we're almost done. We have the tie and um, the lower bottom. And that, and him, and that'll be it. So we're almost there. Okay, so I'm going to open up my seam here. seam and then I'm going to come back and try to get that as even as I can so it'll look like this. just going to do sections at a time because you're going to be going around a curve. So let's get some blue thread out of there. That would look really nice underneath. So just keep working at this part. And when I get done, I'll come back. Okay, now we're going to do the corner. I need to put my dots back on. Um, because when I was ironing, I ironed them off. So let me do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so what you're going to do is where your band is. You're going to turn that. And you're going to sew five eighths down here. Yeah. So it's right sides together. And sew five eighths. And do that on both sides. Okay. We got this. The band. 
you're going to sew. And then, once you turn this and open it up, you're going to turn down that quarter inch or whatever you're going to use. This is a little bit, it's going to be a little bit wider than a quarter inch. But maybe that's just going to be your whole seam or your hem. So then you would have something like this. And you can layer in here if you want to cut off like, um, you know, from here to here, you know, just a little to get the bulk out. Okay. I don't think it's really that bulky, but all right. So let me get the other one done. See, and that's gonna give me a hemline. And if it's too long for me, I'm just gonna have to fold it up. But let me get this other end done. Let me see where it is. Okay. So, fold your band in half. And so here's one of my dots. So I know it, at least I have one dot. Okay, go sew this five eighths. Okay, so this is gonna be where you're gonna it just extend over to here to sew this up. I am going, it doesn't say anything. It's a little confusing. I'm going to put down. Where's my ruler? Because you're going to sew this a half inch. I'm going to turn down a half inch. Oh, I need, let me get it back here. Okay, so you have this. And you're going to sew in the ditch, which is you're going to extend over this stitch line right here. And when you pin it, you're going to be sewing right in the ditch. And that is going to catch a small amount of this. But what I'm going to do, and it doesn't say anything. It kind of just leaves you hanging. So I'm going to turn down a quarter of an inch on each corner and tuck it inside here. Because I'm going to be sewing this, so this has to be sewn. So I'm just going to turn down half an inch. And I'm going to pin this. And then I can hem it afterwards. But we still have to make the belt. Okay. So I'm just going to do a couple inches here. And press it. And do that on both sides. Yeah, and that would be your hem. So let me get my other side. I'll show you again. Let me open this up here. Okay. I'm going to put this back to the way it was. This is going to be folded. And you're going to pin. And then I'm going to bring... 
I'm going to make a half inch right here and put it and tuck it in under there and then press this and pin it. Now, I might be doing this wrong. Um, it This pattern kind of just leaves you hanging. It doesn't really tell you how to finish or it doesn't say anything about hems or anything. So, I'm just doing it like I think it should be done. I'm not saying I'm right on this piece, but it's the hem. Okay. So pin that. All right, now you're gonna be sure this is all flat. Fold this right till it extends that part, that seam, right? And press it. Pin it. Do this all around. So when you get all of this all done around your band, you're going to come back and be sure, you know, there's no like crease or anything. You're going to come back and you're going to stitch in this ditch and you can actually take a pin and be sure that you're right on. So if you take a pin and put it through where your fold is on the inside and come out, see I can go just a little bit further. My pin's right there. So I wanna be in the ditch and I wanna be catching that. So I'm just gonna go just a little bit more. Ow. Hooked myself. Okay, so that's where I need to be. It's right here. So I just have to bring these over just a little bit. Okay, so that's where I need to be. So go all around your robe. And I will be back. Like every other pin you put in, just go to the edge of where you're gonna have the want the seam or your stitch. There. And just be sure everything is like flat. And it's gonna be kind of hard around your corner. So you're just gonna have to kind of pull your material down and just try to get everything as straight as you can. Press it and pin. And you can check if you want. Again, my, my ditch is right there, so my stitch should be right there. So, okay, I'm still on, okay? Okay, once you have that all pinned up, come to the sewing machine. Oh, Lordy. And you're going to stitch in the ditch. So turn this to the right side. Okay, and right where this seam is, not on it, in between it, 
that's where you're going to stitch. And if we pinned it right, you're going to catch just a little bit of the inside. Okay, so we'll get that done. And then we just have the hem and the tie. Okay, once you got a little of it done, look back and be sure that you're picking up your stitch on that side. Don't worry if you pick up some on here. Um, it's just a really hard thing to do because your material is constantly moving. I mean, I've hit a couple spots already on here. It's okay. Okay, when you get that done, just press it. Some of my thread came out darker than, I don't know why, but that's all right. And then what I'm going to do is hem this before I make the tie, just because I'm standing here. doing a half inch under inches like I said it mine doesn't say anything about hemming it so um kind of just leaves you hang in there I don't know if I missed it but okay let me get this done and then we'll start the tie okay let me um sew up my hem real quick and then you're going to get, um, uh, what is it, um, 18, number 18 on your pattern. And that's our tie. And then we'll be almost finished. Okay, get your number 18 and put these together, match your notches. Sew that up. Okay, now go to the ironing board. Open the seam up and fold these right side together. And then we're going to pin, leave an opening, and sew it at three eighths. And then we'll turn it. So, fold this in half. I think my husband's having a hard time getting the puppy in. <laughs> I might have to go around. 
rescue him. Let me go rescue the puppy. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, Lordy. The joys of having animals. Okay, so you're going to sew this up at three-eighths. Leave an opening because you're going to turn it. So, I have to get my little thing. this up. Um, I'm going to do one end and then the other end. So, you know, I'll start where I got a double pin and go all the way down and then come back and where my other double pin is and then I'll come back. Okay, I turned my right side. I just used the chopstick. Um, now you're going to just iron this and you're going to close up your little hole okay everybody here it is i know it's kind of hard to see but i could have actually used a medium but i don't like really tight bath robes i rather have something a little bit bigger so Here it is, and I'm real happy with it. It's really a nice bathroom, so. Okay, that was the new look, 6233. I did um, a medium, and let's see. Tonight, I'm going to be cleaning my sewing room. I have a total mess in here. I can't move around very well. So, I got to clean this tonight. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be making this, this shirt. out of this material that I bought first for the bathrobe, but I didn't have enough. So I'm just gonna use this for that shirt. And I also have this shirt. So I might make it out of that. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna figure it out. But anyways, it's almost supper time and I still have to cook. Um, thank you for sticking around watching the whole video. Like I said, I'm not sure about that bottom. I've never done my bottoms like that. So, you know, if anybody knows more than I do, please, you know, leave a comment um, and tell people how to do it. I, I'm just guessing that was the best way I could figure it out. Um, but I will see you all tomorrow. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and please comment, and also if you make any of these projects, please post them. I really want to see your work also. All right, well, you all have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.